few steps are usually the hardest. Finding that motivation, knowing where to start, what to wear, how hard to go. So many questions when you start a new sport. And running is no different. It can be a little bit daunting. But please don't let that put you off. We are here today with a bucket load of tips to help you get through and enjoy those first few steps, and then you'll be off. Before you get ahead of yourself and you run out the door, can I just ask a quick question? What are you wearing? Now, not in a judgmental way. I don't care what you look like, but I do care about your comfort. If you're going out running and you're uncomfortable in what you're wearing, then your relationship with this new sport is probably going to be rather short-lived. Let's start at the bottom. No, not your bottom, I mean right down here at your feet. It's actually your footwear that is the most essential piece of kit to get right when it comes to finding your running equipment. Now you want to get a shoe that's not just comfortable but also is the right functionality that suits your type of foot and your type of running gait. And to find this, I would seriously recommend heading to a specialist running store because they do this day in, day out and they will know the right questions to ask you and will send you out with the right pair of running shoes that mean you'll be able to go out and then enjoy your running. And finding the right pair of running shoes does take a little bit of investment, both in time, but also financially. But trust me, it's worth it and they should last you quite a while. And we move on up to clothing. And this is where things don't need to be quite so specific. It's about finding something that you feel comfortable in and happy, something you want to wear, because that's going to help you get out the door. And beyond that, just look for clothing that's got sweat wicking properties so that it's not going to get really wet and heavy when you get sweaty or if you're running in the rain. And if you are going for more than just shorts and a t-shirt, look for layers because that's great for being able to either take off whilst you're running or just to wear in the colder months or take off in the warmer months. And the final piece of kit, which I quite often use and would really suggest is a cap or a visor as you can use it in the summer to keep the sun off your face. And in the winter, it just helps protect your face from the cold and the rain. You're dressed and you're ready to go. Well, almost. First, we need to warm up. Just like with any sport, you need to make sure your body is physically and mentally prepared. However, with running, especially when you're starting out running, you're going to be working at a really low intensity, or at least you should be. Therefore, you can actually just start by going out with a really gentle jog to ease into things. Alternatively though, if you're new to it or you just want to ease your body in a little bit more gently, then I suggest starting by walking. I know I said you're ready to go, but I've just got one more suggestion that you might like to put in place before you do head out the door. And that is making a goal and then breaking it down into a plan that actually gives you some structure for each week. And from past experience, just know that having that structure of knowing exactly what you're doing is going to help keep you more motivated and make sure that you're progressing on a smooth trajectory. And the key with goals is making sure that they're realistic and attainable, yet they're still going to stretch you enough that you feel you're being pushed, but you've got that edge of feeling that you're accomplishing something and also feel free to make sure that they're adaptable because sometimes life gets in the way and you won't quite reach those goals you can bring them back a little bit alternatively if you're just flying through your running progression then feel free to make new ones as you go and I would suggest breaking those bigger goals you might have for running into micro goals. So really little things of just distance targets or time or amount of runs per week. And as you're ticking them off, you'll just get that feeling of accomplishment and it'll help you with your running progression and help hopefully keep things moving forwards smoothly. And on that note, when we talk about progression, with running in any sport, we often get tempted to just think we've got to, in order to progress, go further, go faster, do more. But you still need to remember that rest and recovery is a really vital part of getting stronger and it's something quite hard for all of us to get our heads around because we always think more is better but this is the time when your body is actually going to adapt and make those physical changes which enable it to get stronger so really make sure you still prioritize your rest and recovery alongside your training When you have goals, you obviously need a way in which to measure them and see how you're progressing. A lot of running programs will go with distance, but this has limitations because if you think of a set distance, but we all run at different paces, it's gonna mean it's a different length of time running and as a result, a different effort level to complete 
that set. So we would suggest going with time, especially when you're starting out on your running journey. You can keep a glance at the distance you're covering for a set amount of time by all means. And maybe later on when you've been running for much longer, you can start to set your sessions or your goals via distance. But right now, sticking with time is going to give you that bit more motivation. It's also hopefully going to encourage you to go and run on different days or different situations. So if you've got hills or off-road or you're just not feeling great one day or one day you're feeling better, you're still going to be able to go and achieve that set time. And it doesn't really matter how far you go and even sometimes just getting out the door and running for 30 minutes is still an achievement irrelevant of how far you actually cover on that run and then you've got advantages of running off road or running hills it's going to start to make you stronger and work different muscles as well and on this point speed does not matter at this moment it's really very much about getting out the door and moving and it doesn't matter how slow you're going or even if you're walking in fact a lot of beginner programs will include a run walk method and it's just a really great way of progressing and the most important thing at this time is consistency is getting out the door getting those first few steps in and just staying on track Just a few final tips before we send you on your way. If you can include some strength and mobility work in your program, it'll really complement your running and just ensure you can continue to have that smooth upward progression trajectory. And I do want to just give you a little warning that you are starting a new sport, something that your body isn't used to. And as a result, you're probably using muscles that maybe you've not used for a little while. So it's totally normal to maybe feel the odd ache and pain the day after running. This is not a bad thing. It's just a sign that you've pushed your body and it's starting to actually get stronger as a result. And as long as you make sure you include enough rest and recovery and conditioning work, then you'll make sure you'll be getting stronger. And we've talked quite a lot in this video about motivation and goal setting. Well, I would suggest downloading an online program or maybe signing up to an app say couch to 5k or something that's going to give you that structure that maybe you don't have in place and it will help to motivate you alternatively why not try and find a local running group or running club or even better see if you can rope a friend in to join you on this running journey well it's a really exciting time if you are starting out in a new sport and i really think you are going to love running but hopefully these tips will help you get started and make sure you're off on the right foot if you do have any questions of anything we've talked about today please please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my very best to answer them. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Happy running guys.